people talked about it because he was the first human with a chip implanted under his skin. In 2002, he made one more step. This time he had a chip implanted in his uh, median nerve, in his arm. The goal was to be able to pick up his brain signal when he moved his hand. And once it was done, they were able to operate a uh, wheelchair, to switch on or switch off the light, or, or to operate basic operations simply by using his, um, his brain signals. And um, it seems logic, logical that the next step will be the chip implanted in the brain. If we consider um, the basic level of technology is getting closer to the human body, it, it really seems that the trend definitely does exist. And, um, and what he's doing is just showing uh, the trend of all the companies which are trying to to build uh, smaller and smaller devices. Uh, everything is getting more invisible. One of the main issues related to all these technological modifications is related to the shift in uh, what is considered as normal. You have in Barcelona, um, by, by a club or something like that, uh, nightclub where the VIP have a chip and it's considered as a normal way of being. It seems to me a very good example of how things that are unacceptable at some point become acceptable and after that they become uh, normal and after a few years they become what you really want to have. you manipulate a robotic hand because you, you are missing an arm, it's considered as good because it's therapy. If you are a soldier and you manipulate a 1,000 robotic hand, it's considered as bad because it's, um, it's an improvement of normal human being. But my, my concern is that if we really can manipulate 1,000 um, arms by simply using our brain signals, one day we will consider that those who are just able to manipulate two hands are disabled because technology allows to make, to make more and we consider that more is synonymous with better. If you consider um, the traditional old values for which your, um, your identity is given by the boundary of your skin, you can consider there is um, a, a qualitative step simply by entering uh, through the skin. But we have also to consider that these are the old traditional values of our society and we are fle flexible as human beings and these values are no longer those uh, which are commonly shared. Now, it seems to me that we, we, most of us consider that our identity is given by exchanges uh, between inside and outside. There might be a qualitative step and we might become something else than human. And it's one of my concerns because I, as an anthropologist, I, I like humankind. I understand we are not perfect, but I, I'd like to say, maybe it's a bit provocative, but, but and so what? We are not perfect, and so what? Tomorrow we will be in a society surrounded by technology, which is also implanted into our bodies. We are a kind of um, body, a terminal body, uh, in which information and data are, are also supposed to uh, to access, but um, as an anthropologist, I, I think we have we also have to stand back back a bit more and think about the day after tomorrow, which means a long-term reflection to think about uh, the kind of humankind we are building, because we are not just involving us as individuals living in a society; we are also involving the human species. I think. Mm -hmm.